Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on training for climbing. This video is going to be about a really simple method for training finger strength and endurance at home with just a fingerboard. The reason I like this session is because there's no need for any extra equipment such as weights or pulleys. second rest day in a row at the moment for me. I've been doing kind of three days on, two days off for the last few weeks and I've not had a rest week for uh, about four or five weeks now so I'm definitely due one of those. I'm um, probably going to do a few more sessions this week, take it easy next week and then I've got a trip to Spain a few weeks after that so I'll do two or three weeks of training before my trip to Spain. Fingers crossed we can actually go to Spain. The session we're going to talk about today is known as density hangs. Density comes from the adaptation that you see um, when using these hangs. Uh, in the finger tendons and connective tissue uh, and the forearm flexor muscles. They're a really simple exercise that you can do at home on a fingerboard. All you need is a fingerboard with a variety of edges. You don't need any extra equipment like weights or pulleys or harnesses. There's none of that fat. It's a super simple way of training your fingers. It's certainly not the most effective way to train your fingers. It's not the most specific method for sure. There are other methods and I would combine this method with other things as part of the training program. But I think this method is great for beginners because it's so simple and it can be adjusted very easily for your ability level. It's also a really good tool for advanced climbers who need to mix up their training a little bit. Maybe somebody who does a lot of max hangs and a lot of repeaters could add in some density hangs just to get a bit of variety. The method is really simple. Okay, First of all we need to calculate the intensity. What we want to aim for with the intensity is an edge size that we can hang 40 seconds before failure. So for a beginner climber that might be the jugs on your fingerboard. For a more advanced climber it might be a 15 mil edge and anywhere in between of course as well. I would avoid going any smaller than 15 millimeter. As the edge gets smaller the pain level on your fingertips increases. At around about 15 mil I'd probably start to add a bit of weight to control the intensity. Once you've figured out the edge size that you can hang for around about 40 seconds you're going to do some long duration hangs on that edge. The hangs will do will be 30 seconds in length, so you shouldn't have any difficulty in completing each hang. Once you've done a 30 second hang on that edge, you'll rest for three minutes. After a three minute rest, you'll repeat another hang on the same edge for another 30 seconds. We'll do five sets. The plan is to complete every single set without failure. If you find that you're failing on a set, you can adjust the intensity of that set quite easily. We simply increase the edge size so that you can complete the hang. We want to make sure we complete the hangs because if we fail, the adaptation isn't going to be optimal for us. This session shouldn't feel utterly desperate, but it should be hard to complete the hang. If you think the session is too easy, there's a couple of things you can do to make it a little bit harder. Firstly, of course, you could decrease the edge size. Secondly, you could add a little bit of weight. You could also experiment with slightly longer hangs. So I've just suggested a 30 second hang. You could maybe extend the hang time for up to 40 seconds. I certainly wouldn't go any longer than 40 seconds. Other options for changing this up a little bit would be to increase the number of sets that you do. Again, I've just suggested five sets. You could maybe aim to do six, seven or eight sets. I'd recommend doing this session between two and three times per week. Obviously though, that totally depends on the other training that you're doing at the moment, the other types of sessions that you're doing and, the, and where your goals and focuses lie. One thing I would say is that if you are going to do this session after a climbing session, to leave a period of around about six hours between sessions to allow your connective tissues to recover. The session should be completed with a half crimp grip type. But more advanced climbers might also choose to add in open-handed grip types to some of their hangs. I hope you find that session really useful and I hope it allows you to maintain some strength and some endurance whilst climbing walls are closed at the moment. Remember, two to three times a week, 30 second hangs, five sets with three minutes rest between each set. It's really simple and it's really effective. Please subscribe so that you see any future videos on training for climbing. If you like the video, please also give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so they can also benefit from this training session. Please also check me out on Instagram. My name is Mike Nolan underscore climbing. I'll put a little thing there. Um, you can also find me on Facebook at Mike Nolan Mountaineering. Uh, my website is mikenolanclimbing.co.uk. I offer training plans, coaching, guiding and instruction in the UK. So please have a look at that. Thanks a lot for watching. Loads more videos coming up.